What's going on everyone? Derek here today, bringing you guys another video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys know the time was coming. We recently picked up my brand new to me 1988 Fox Body Mustang GT. Project Fox here has been on the channel for a little over a year now. This is the 50-50 partnership project car that my father and I bought. And you know, we had big plans for the car. We wanted to pretty much do a full restoration on it and you know, just make it an ultimate Carson Coffee slash Saturday Cruiser. It was kind of put on halt for quite a few reasons and today I'm actually gonna go and talk to you guys about those reasons, give you the full scoop. So this video is gonna be very, you know, cut and dry. It's gonna be straight to the point. We're gonna be discussing a lot about Project Fox today and you know, with just now getting an 88 GT that is pretty much road ready, this car is officially for sale. Um, I just don't see why I should hang on to such a perfect platform for a nice Fox project. You know, it's an all original 1982, and no, I know those wheels aren't original. I do have the original wheels at my father's house though, but all original, Recaro seat car, um, it, it's a beautiful platform. Here's, here's gonna be the new Project Fox Body, guys. Here it is, Fox Body 5.0. Man, this is so exciting. Here, crank it up. <laughs> this sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. I am driving the Fox right now. Literally can't make this up. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm impressed with it. I really am. Yeah, it's smooth. It's smooth. But an all original 1982 Fox Body Mustang GT. These are the first years that actually went ahead and threw the V8 5.0 liter motor inside the Fox Body. And you can clearly tell we got the unique looking four eyed Fox. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. Um, I'm kind of a fan of it because you just don't see them out there anymore. You really don't. You can definitely tell though, the car is in need of some TLC. It needs a fresh paint job. It needs some new moldings, new weather stripping. But other than that though, it is honestly such a great platform for somebody looking for a all original 82, which are definitely gonna be more rare than my 88. Um, it kind of hurts to you know, get rid of it, but we're gonna talk about why exactly I have to and um, you know, what my thought process was behind making the switch to the 88 and just you know, kind of letting this thing go and recouping some of my money. There's just so many factors and we're gonna talk about them today. So before we go into those factors though, guys, please do me a huge favor, drop a like up on this video, help me get into the algorithm. Let's get this Fox Body content underway. I have some modifications for the 88, which we will go visit here in a little bit. But um, yeah, slap a like up on this video, guys, because we're gonna be producing a ton of Fox Body content and I know you guys want to see that. Starting with the front end of the car, as I just mentioned, it is a four-eyed Fox. It's pretty sought after considering it is an 82. It's pretty rare. Um, it does have the factory headlights, both sides, and it does have the factory fog lights. Um, the bumper itself is in awesome condition. I know it looks really beat up. Like the whole car from afar looks really beat up. Um, it's just honestly paint. That's all it needs. It's just worn down. Taking a look at the body lines though, you can see they are very straight. Come to the driver's side here. Again, you can just take a look. Stock hood, even have like the stock little pony badge here. Some good old quality material there. Gotta love this big old tank. One of the cleanest um, 82s you're probably gonna find as far as that aspect. Now, I'm not saying it's a finished project, but it's a great start to a project because it is fully functioning, it runs, it drives great. Oh, this is so crazy. Oh, this thing's badass, dude. Oh God, clutch is slipping. This thing's slow as shit! <laughs> Yo! Oh man! 
recent and last modification this car got was the true dual exhaust it has slp lob mounts on there and we you know installed a brand new clutch in the car while we were at it project fox with the dual exhaust just installed and the tips look perfect absolutely love the way those look they definitely have a really old school look to them I'm honestly so impressed with how that turned out. So impressed. Let's see how this thing sounds on the road. Good grief, man. Only little bit of rust. This little surface rust. I could literally go get some sandpaper right now and take care of that. Very solid. We can go and move on into the interior of the car. That's a very good sign. Opens nicely and shuts with ease. Door panel number one. The leather is, is really nice on that. Um, it's not cracking or dried up. My absolute favorite part about the car are the factory Recaros. I want to say these are Recaros from a 79 pace car. The netting in the headrest is still in there and that is factory and extremely, extremely, extremely hard to find. We do have the dash. There's a little crack right here. Nothing too crazy though. A little, little junked up right there and same for the other like little holy part. Steering wheel, I do have the factory um, little thing. I just got to get it put back in and there's another piece somewhere yep right here so I do have that factory center cap for the steering wheel I uh, got the map light it's pretty cool and it does work um, right now the car's battery is beyond dead and I just checked the battery and it's from 2015 so it's definitely well overdue and it doesn't hold a charge whatsoever I even you know charged up my jump box for the past two days just to try to get this thing started in today's video but I can assure you it 100% starts and whoever's interested in buying this car, I will make sure that there's a new battery and yada yada in here for you so you can experience the whole car. But I do have the fender liners back here out of the car. Um, they're in mint condition. It's when I took off the front bumper because we were going to do motor work and stuff. But um, I just haven't thrown them back in. So they're just back here. But it does have them, all four, which is, again, very hard to find in Fox bodies without them being dry rotted and completely junked up. So those are in great condition. Oh my goodness. Dude, I've never even knew this was in there. This looks like some stuff Christopher Columbus wrote. When was this? 85! 1985 service record right here. No freaking way. November 13th, 1985. Burlington NC. Service records. County Motor Company. 801 Hanford Road. Bro, this is so cool. The car was definitely taken care of. Here's one from 89, work order. A little bit of history about the car. Um, it really was taken care of to a certain extent. Now, when we bought it from the dude, he had bought it from an elderly lady that had the car, I want to say, practically her whole entire life. Um, he said he was able to buy it from her because... It was sitting outside and it hadn't, you know, been touched. That's like the only issue with this. That's why the paint's so bad. That's why the trim fell off. Um, because it just has honestly been beating in the sun. And he said it was for years, like a long, long, long time. And it never moved. But, um, you know, I guess he approached her one day and was just talking about the car and, you know, offered her money for it. And he bought it, got it running. And, I mean, it's all in the factory parts too, which is really cool. So... That's uh that's a little bit of history. I mean, like check this out. The last time it was driven was in 98. Like that's the last time this car has ever gotten an inspection sticker. I was 3 years old then. So, that just goes to show like that's how long it sat from 98 till what last year, 2020. So, 
that's crazy. That's really crazy. And um, there's a lot of history with this car, no doubt about it. But again, if someone out there is looking for the absolute perfect 1982 all original with Recaro project car, uh, you know, this thing, it deserves to go to a good home. It truly does. And I wish I was in the position to, you know, dump thousands and thousands of dollars into this to make it the ultimate four-eyed fox cruiser because, you know, making this video right now is kind of, it's kind of sad in a way because this is such a gem. And I do believe whoever will end up snagging this car is, you know, going to be very, very driven to have it painted correctly, not a $900 Mako job, which a lot of you wanted me to do. Um, I would never do that. I would never do that. This car has too much character to just throw on a $900 paint job. I'm thinking more of, you know, $3,500 to $5,000 paint job to where it's, you know, in its original condition. Um, same paint, beautiful job, and yeah, that's what this car deserves. It's This car deserves somebody that wants to do it the right way. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. So, we bought this car, my father and I, because it was kind of on a whim. He had sold his 1991 C4 Corvette, and he kind of had the itch to get into another car, and you know, he obviously knows that I do YouTube and stuff, so he was like, what if we found a really cool Project Fox car to go with, and just kind of made that and put that on the channel, and I was like all for it, obviously. So we did some looking, or he did some looking for a couple months, and this popped up, and you know, my dad knows cars and stuff, so he was like, I think this is really worth going to look at, I've been talking to the guy, he's an older gentleman that owns it, he's showing me videos, photos, the car runs, blah, 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 so, and that's when we grabbed the trailer, and we picked it up, and at that time, it was, you know, I, w I was on a very narrow, like, hallway, just thinking of it, like, we're just gonna make it sick, but, I didn't really factor in all the other life events that I have going on currently, which it kind of put the project on halt. And that's exactly why the car never really got worked on because I have so much on my plate like coming up that it's kind of scary to think about dropping 10, 15 grand into this car, which might seem crazy to you right now, but that's honestly what it would probably take to make it even remotely close to as nice as the 88 I got in the garage for just $8,500. So my thought process was as simple as this. This 1982 would never, ever, ever be dismantled. It would never have aftermarket parts and I would have to keep it in its original state because it just deserves that. It's it's a survivor. And that right there like kind of bummed me out a little bit because I like to make things my own. I like to make them cool. I like to do my own taste on things and the whole the whole thing of having a stock all original 82 sounded cool, but then I started thinking I was just like it's not really my style and it's going to take a lot of money. I'm trying to move to Florida in a little over a year is spending 10 or 15 grand to turn this car into its original state but better worth it and i just could I, I couldn't settle with myself with it i couldn't get myself to spend that kind of money just to have a car that's in its original state which again it needs that and it deserves that and this car will be worth a hell of a lot of money once that happens and you know you hold on to it and just you know keep keep care of it it really will so i mean i was doing some pricing and like i said we'll say We'll say on the best, best day, thirty five hundred four grand for a really good paint job, which this car does deserve, and that's four grand right there. TMI actually sells the reupholstery kit for these exact Recaros. I think that's like twelve hundred dollars right there. Um, you know, wheels and tires. It just adds up. It adds up really quick, and before you know it, we are in way over my head with this. Um, it's just another project I had to stress about, like before moving to Florida. And um, I got a big, I got a big life change coming. I got a really, really big life change coming my way. I don't know what it's going to entail. I don't know um, how it's going to happen, and that's kind of scary too. So that's kind of why you know, with having blue two valve, Lucifer, now the C7 Corvette, I just kind of like set this off because it was kind of battling myself with it. So that's why when the 1988 came around, I've always wanted a Fox body. It just made the most sense. $8,500, 67,000 original miles. It's road ready. I can slap wheels and tires on it, do whatever the hell I want because it's nothing special. It's just an 88. It's not like this. This car is way more special in its own way. It's an 82 G freaking T, man, with the Recaros, and it's a survivor car. So 
that right there is very cool. So uh, that's why, you know, I wanted to go to a good home. I want to sell it to somebody that is going to do right. They're not going to jack the car up. They're not going to just, you know, abandon it like I have. Because, I mean, I have. I've abandoned the car. And I didn't, I pretty much failed with it. Really, I, I definitely failed with this car. Definitely failed with this car. I got everybody hype on it. But it's kind of one of those, you know, that saying, bit off more than you can chew. And that is exactly, that's exactly what I did. Um, I have my hands on a lot of stuff. A full-blown restoration project um, while trying to move to Florida and having all these other cars and a channel to run it's just it's kind of a, it's a little scary so that's exactly why it's for sale and here's a little look at the 88 I was talking about I'm not gonna really focus this video around that but just so you guys know which car I have to replace the 82 and I do have both sets of keys for the 82 um, a door key and an ignition key two full sets. Well, that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember, if you are interested in coming to take a look at Project Fox or potentially buying it, email me, DerekBrandProductions at gmail.com. We can set something up. And I just want to see it go to a good home. I know it sounds like a broken record, but I truly do. My dad and I picked that thing up in North Carolina, so it still does mean a ton to me. And um, I just, I just want somebody to do something really cool with it. So, yeah, instead of just sit there and do nothing. Someone come do something with it. But until next time, we'll see you later.